Welcome back to Sword Box Ministries. Thank you for stopping by for our Thursday message. Today's verse is Matthew 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today, Troy speaks of that internal yearning that we have as Christians to go and share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ in today's message entitled, The Great Commission. When I was in the first year of college, uh, I woke up one morning to go to school and realized that there was a severe fog set in throughout the entire St. Louis area. Uh, I went ahead and I got ready and I started to leave. And I came to the place in the road where I had to make a decision whether to continue on down the freeway, which would have been the fastest way to get to school, or to go to a neighboring town where a gentleman had asked me for a ride into school. Uh, I didn't firm up his request, so I didn't know for sure if he was even going to be there or not. But just in case, I decided to go ahead and to go by and see if he was there. Now, this was the long way around. And so when I got there, sure enough, he was waiting for me. And when we got to school, there were several people coming out of the school building hurriedly, uh, coming over to the car, greeting me and telling me that I had a very important message that I needed to call home immediately. Well, my first thoughts, of course, were that there had been something serious happened to one of my family members, my mom or my dad. Oh, I ran up to the office and hurriedly I dialed the number and finally whenever I got was my mom on the phone. The first thing out of her mouth, she says, thank God you're okay. What had happened is on that freeway, the fog was so bad that there was a 26 car pileup and the cars had just continually collided into each other. And she was afraid, knowing that that was the way that I went to school, that I was involved in that accident. I had found out later on that many people who had been involved in the accident had gotten out of their cars and took their jackets off and was running back into the line of traffic, waving their, their coats and warning people of what was about to happen. And I saw that as a, an example of what we as Christians need to do. There's a precipice ahead, and everybody that has not come to know Jesus as their own personal Savior is heading toward an abyss and heading toward a total destruction. And I see myself now as those people were walking back into the traffic, warning and pleading and asking everyone that I can meet to change and turn around, to stop and don't go any further. Turn around and be saved. And that experience has stayed with me in all of my life. I view my mission here on earth as one of warning people about what's to come.